The request for proposal for the construction of six stealth next-generation missile vessels worth around 13,000 crore rupees was issued in July 2019, and there are very clear indications that the project will soon be assigned on an open competition among the Indian private and public sector shipyards, but they will be allowed for consultations on design and associated transfer of technology from foreign companies. The six next-generation missile vessels will have advanced stealth features like low radar cross-section, lower infrared acoustic and magnetic signature, electronic countermeasures, and will be equipped with 800 km Brahmos extended range version, eight vertical launch cells for the recently cleared 1,500 km range indigenously developed long-range cruise missile, the upcoming DRDO developed vertically launched short-range surface-to-air system to provide 360 degree coverage, an indigenous lightweight naval gun with a range of 15 km, and a close-in weapon system, and these highly maneuverable 2,500 ton vessels will have the capability to sink enemy aircraft carriers. Amid the reports that the Indian Navy might lease a squadron of F-A-18 fighters, Boeing has announced that its F-A-18 Block 3 Super Hornet has successfully conducted a ski jump launch today, demonstrating its compatibility with Indian aircraft carriers, and has pitched the latest variant as a platform for naval cooperation with the US Navy. A former Defense Ministry official has said, that the deal for local production of 6.5 lakh AK-203 rifles is stuck due to flawed planning of the army, and the rigid procedures of the defense ministry. Industry officials have said, that the issues on price differences higher indigenization and technology transfer could not be resolved during defense minister's recent Moscow visit in September 2020, after which a costing committee was created, and its report has still not been submitted to the defense ministry. There are also reports that Russian company also demanded a royalty of $200 for each AK-203 rifle produced by the joint venture in the Russian Rifles Private Limited which takes the license fee to $130 million for 6.5 lakh rifles, while majority of the cost of establishing the production facility would be borne by the ordnance factory. The Indian Army has said that the indigenous advanced towed artillery gun system will have to prove its worth in the upcoming winter user trials in January 2021 followed by the mobility trials in February and summer trials in June 2021. Army's parallel procurement of 400 Athos howitzers from Israel is in the final stages, and the remaining 1,180 Athos howitzers will be made in collaboration with the Ordnance Factory Board. A senior DRDO official has said that there was no issue with the barrel, and the incident took place due to faulty ammunition provided by the Ordnance Factory. Saudi Arabia has said that its plan to invest over $100 billion in India is on track, and discussions are underway to prioritize investment opportunities in several sectors in both countries. The Saudi ambassador has said that Saudi Arabia values India as a strategic partner and a close friend, and the setting up of the Strategic Partnership Council by the two countries has opened new avenues of cooperation in several sectors including defense and security. Thank <laughs> you.